Hey everyone, this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com. I got our pull arm transducer mount. You can get this on fishfindermounts.com under shop and our transducer mounts category. This has 32 inches, I think it is, maybe 34, anywhere, somewhere in there. Anyway, somewhere in there, we have it published on the, the website product page for this product. You've got a bunch of travel there and I'll just demonstrate how this works quickly without the transducer on it. This can travel up and down so you can, once you have it firmly established on and clamped on to uh, the edge of your boat or maybe a deck of your boat, maybe you have a deck boat, this can travel up and down so you can get it deeper or shallower. Maybe you have a side imaging fish finder and you want to get it below the bottom of the very bottom of the boat so it doesn't impede with your side imaging transducer um, operation. Um, maybe you want to get it down past a motor, motor leg or what have you. You can also rotate this 360 degrees and you can also even take this pin here that you can see on here, right here, and just pull it out and you can actually tilt this up and down to different positions. It just snaps in nicely, just like so, from fishfindermounts.com. You can call us at 1-855-784-3474 to get your amazing fish finder transducer mount just like you see here. What we're going to do is we're going to take this transducer. I had it on the 10 amp hour magnetic boat mount kit here. This is a magnetic transducer mount. So this is another way to put your transducer on your boat. But for you that don't have the ability because your boat thickness is too thick, you have a, a, a form factor, a strange form factor like a deck boat, a pontoon deck boat. Um, this pull arm is what we are going to refer you to. Maybe you have a bass hunter or a pond prowler style of plastic molded boat, a pelican, sun, dolof sun dolphin, those types of boats. We're just going to take this transducer off to use it as a demonstration as to how this works. On Now this is an older transducer. Garmin's changed its transducer since. So you, um, you, you, you won't you won't need this. If you do have an older one like this, the spacers that you see in my hand here, these nylon spacers, they will come in the kit anyways, at least at this point. In the future, next season, I think we won't be including them with every kit. You'll have to buy that separately because there's seldom, only the older fish finders now use these. So we don't have, we don't like to see things just getting chucked in the garbage or whatever. So we're just going to take this guy off. This is actually quite a wide mounting point. So we're going to take this longer screw. This would have been in the package with the nylon spacers, this longer screw. And I'm just going to take my, my foot here, if the camera can see this. And I'm going to just, actually I'll do it on this side. I'm just going to push, put the, the head of the screw, or the end of the screw down. I'm just going to push down, and that'll push it out of the actual hex trap that you can see it just popped out of. And then we can put it into here our pull arm transducer mount that we're really focusing on here in this video and we're going to take the transducer here your the older Garmin Striker 7 SV this is a side imaging transducer just in case anyone's curious we'll slip this guy over we'll put one spacer on and then we'll just take this other spacer put it right there and slide it all the way down so you've got it all set up there and we'll just take our our, our fork washer, we like to call it, and it hugs through these slots. You can see the slots here, and you can see the groove, the uh, outward grooves here, the raised grooves or bumps, whatever, sliders, and that'll just snap on, and then you can take your wing nut and just fasten that wing nut on there. And just tighten that off to where you think you're going to want it. You can you can adjust it in the water, whatever, too. Now that guy's all set up. You got your transducer set up. So we're just going to show you how it works on a boat, an actual boat. This is about a 16 foot. I believe it's a 16 foot long John boat here. I'm just going to take this guy so it's not in our way here. We can take it. And I don't need it to be that far in the water. And I'm taking it and I'm putting it on the transom as you can see here. 
and I'm clamping it on. If the camera can see that I'm clamping the clamp on. And then we can tighten this guy. We can lower this down wherever we want within the water. You can see that. If this was on the side of a ki or like a, a canoe or something, you might want to have it this way, traveling in parallel with your hull, or vice versa this way, 360 degree rotation. And we can take this guy and just tighten up the tri knob here so it's stuck in position. If we want to, I'll just take this rope off so it's not in the way of the camera. If we want to, we can also loosen the tri knob off a little bit and then again this detent pin so that we can just quickly tilt it up out of the water and it's out of the water. So if you're coming through very thick weeds, shallow type areas, what have you, it's a very quick adjustment that way. Again, you can also, as I showed you before, just easily just also loosen the tri knob and pull it up this way as well if you prefer. It's up to you. You've got a couple of different options there. And everything is hard anodized aluminum all you know really oxidization resistant highly resistant or proof even um, we just make the best mounts that you can possibly get so this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com we are truly making all fish finders portable and the transducers portable as well as you can see here call us at 1-855-784-3474 and you can email us at sales at flowtubefanatics.com. But the main thing is to go to www.fishfindermounts.com, shop, and for this product, transducer mounts. And you'll see it right there on the top row, probably top left corner of the website. And we also sell versions of this where a battery box will be on here too. So this is Wade. Thanks for watching, everyone.